It's a very common emotion. Yes. It's it, actually the top negative emotion. Oh, it is? It is. Okay. Yeah. Stop fear with gratitude. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 127. Hello and welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. You can find out more at waterdistillers.com. All right. We're into 2024. You know, our last episode, we Mm -hmm. talked about things to think about. Yes. And hopefully none of that was fear. Right. We don't want to focus <laughs> on fear. We don't want to focus on fear. A lot yeah. of people are fearful, though, aren't they? About it's very, a lot of different things, you know? It's a very common emotion. Yes. It's it, actually the top negative emotion. Oh, it is? It is. Okay. Yeah. And they say that if you could boil all negative fears down to one thing, it would be f- fear. Yeah. All negative feelings down to one, it would be fear. Yeah. I know one of the uh, the biggest fears that people have is speaking in public. <laughs> you know, they say that people are more concerned about speaking in public or more fearful of that than of dying. So that's kind of weird, isn't it? It is. It's probably the fear of being embarrassed. Uh-huh. There we go. Yes. So, but our premise of the show today is we're going to talk about how we can overcome fear. Right. And stop it with gratitude? Yes. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you researched and uh, have all the content (laughs) for this show because I'm just going to listen and figure out exactly uh, how we're going to do that. Yes. So remember how I told you when you have a thought that you get an emotion, the emotion comes from the thought. Mm -hmm. And then you have actions from that emotion. That was from the thought, and then you get the results. Right. Of course, we're referring to also our last episode, number 126. Yes. Which was um, things to think about in 2024. Right. Okay. So that was a nice little recap. Uh, We'll link that in the show notes, too. It's a a great episode. You want to check that out because, uh, you know, it's a good one on just thinking. Yes. And now we're thinking, uh, oh, I'm kind of fearful. We're thinking about the negative. Yeah. We don't want to think about the negative. Right. But we do need to face the negative. That's right. We don't want to stuff it, do we? No. And, you know, our feelings can be messengers telling us something's wrong or something needs to be dealt with or handled. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about fear in this situation, I'm not talking about that you're just about to be in a car accident, you know, (laughs) or here comes a guy with a knife running after you. I'm not talking about, or there's a, how about if you're laying in bed and you hear noises downstairs? (laughs) Well, that could be be another kind of fear too. Okay. The door gets opened. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not talking about the danger fears. Right. Okay. You know, I'm talking about the rumination type of fear. Yeah. And the uncertainties. Yeah, yeah. Uncertainties in life. These are the kind of fears we deal with most of the time. Okay. I'm still no. wondering how you're going to tie gratitude in with this. Yeah. Well, so when we are thinking fearful thoughts such as, oh my goodness, I'm going to fail at that. Mm-hmm. Or how is that going to turn out? I just don't think it's going to work or, or, you know, those yeah. types of thoughts. Those are fear creating thoughts. Mm. Okay. So um, t- for me, this happens when I'm in bed at night and like kind of between dreams or, you know, mm-hmm. not when I am like on top of my game. Right. Because when I'm, I'm awake and alert, I am fine mm-hmm. for the most part. Uh, but when I'm kind of half in, half out, my mind can go to these things that start me worrying. Mm -hmm. And what I've discovered is if I switch my thinking 
to gratitude. They just, it just stops. Okay. Give me some examples of how would that be? How do you switch your thinking to gratitude? So, um, thank you, God, that I have a job. Thank you, God, that I have a good mind. Thank you that I have a good family. Mm -hmm. Thank you that you never leave me or forsake me. Thank you. You know, I just start thanking God for the things that he's given me. Mm -hmm. And there's no room for fear there. Yeah. And I'm not talking about post-traumatic stress syndrome or, you know, huge issues like that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your normal, everyday, ruminating, worrying about things. Well, you know, also you could uh, think about things you love. Yes. Because perfect love casts casts out fear. That's right. All right. Yeah. So I like that. I like that. And I just want to say a little bit about fear. Like it's not nothing, you know? It's real. It's very real. And it can cause dysfunction of the immune system. It can cause impaired decision making and impaired thinking. It can cause emotional dysregulation. It can cause disturbed sleep, mm-hmm. problems with eating, elevated blood pressure and heart rate. So it, it's not nothing. It, it right. does have an impact on our physical body as well right. as just our mental issues. But it is an emotion. It is an emotion right. that affects our body. Right. And so it is important to take our thoughts captive. Mm-hmm. As the Bible says, in obedience to Christ, which says, do not worry about anything, pray about everything, Mm -hmm. give thanks in all circumstances. And he also says, Isaiah 41, 10, fear not or do not fear for I am with you. Mm -hmm. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. Mm -hmm. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Those promises are incredible, aren't they? Oh my goodness. That's why yes. a lot of people who like, like are when they're fearful pray. That's right. And if you can pray scriptures, that's even better, you know, right. because those are the promises of God. Exactly. And recite those scriptures to yourself. Remember yeah. that God is with you. Thank you, God, that you are with me. Yes. You will never leave me or forsake me. You are upholding me with your righteous right hand. You are strengthening me. Mm-hmm. I love it. I know. Isn't that great? Yeah, I think we should change it to stop fear by reciting Bible verses. <laughs> but I, well, you I, just no. got to change your mind, right? But you know, when you recite those, they are acts of gratitude. You're thanking God That's for right. a lot of those things because yes. of what He's done. That's right. It's incredible. Yes, it is. It is. I do want to say there are some essential oils that can also help. Ooh, with that. Well, that would be good. Because sometimes our body has a hard time shifting, yes. you know? Well, I know we talked about that in our podcast episode on emotions, too, how um, sometimes you're deep into the emotion and it's hard to break it, but a little mm-hmm. uh, physical inhaling of, a, mm-hmm. of an es- essential oil can help break that log jam, which is right. really kind of cool. Yeah, it is. And so uh, Valor mm. is one of those oils. Um and Gary Young developed it because um, based on what was said about Roman soldiers hmm. used to apply plant extracts and botanicals to instill feelings of courage and confidence before going into battle. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's very grounding. Mm-hmm. And there is like the Valor original um, with like with a shield on the front of it. And then there's Valor. So the Valor with the shield on it. That was the one that he created first, hmm. and then we were not able to get rosewood anymore, which was one of the components. Aha! Uh-huh, yeah, of that's it. right. I remember Valor for a couple of years was actually um, not available. Then they came out with a, another formulation that didn't have that rosewood in it. Yes. And then that, but then they had Valor Two for a while. Yeah, Valor Two was called. That's right. Right. And uh, then they they did it again because it wasn't good enough. Okay. Um, but here, let's just have a little smell. Okay. I love Valor. So by the way. here is the original Valor. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Love it. With the shield on it. Mm-hmm. So that's the original Valor with rosewood. 
And then this is the little bit newer Valor. It's a little bit sweeter. Yeah, but it's very similar. It is very I, similar. I can't, tell, I can't tell a huge difference, no. but there's a little bit, yeah. It's just, I would say, a tiny bit sweeter. Okay, but yeah. Can you get both of them now? Yeah, you can get both of them. Okay. And they're wonderful. So mm. literally... You might want to get both just okay, to try so it how out. How do we identify these in the show notes uh, over at huntforwellness.com, episode number 127? <laughs> um, we, have, uh, we have Valor and we have Valor, but which one is the original? Um, the one with the shield on it. Okay. So that's the Valor original. Right. It's got the little okay. shield. We can't show it yeah. because it's too small. Right. On the bottle. But okay, look for the Valor with the shield on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just say that. We'll link it in the show notes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll also link the Valor, which is just the have the words and not the shield. And okay. then this is gratitude. Oh, I am so grateful you opened these. <laughs> <laughs> See, it worked already. No, I know. That is a great oil. I love that I oil. I know. We should use that one more often. I know. It smells Why don't we? so good. So many good. oils to choose from. Here, give me a little shot of that. And it just promotes thankfulness mm -hmm. and appreciation oh. and gratitude. So, I love mean. Love it. Love it. How, love it. How great is that? It's awesome. It's really great. Yeah, I know. That's why it's called gratitude. I know. <laughs> it should be it's called great attitude. I know. It's got... Uh, Balsam, Canada, frankincense, mm. coriander, myrrh, yes. ylang ylang, um, bergamot, northern lights, black spruce, bunch of my vetiver, favorites in there. Geranium. It's also grounding too. Yeah. So very beautiful. These are wonderful for prayer, meditation, calming, strengthening, just balancing the body. Yeah. Balancing the emotions. Now, gratitude is also available in the feelings collection. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. No. La our valor is. Valor is. Okay. Valor good. is. So um, we'll put a link to the feelings collection too, and also mm -hmm. to the podcast that we did uh, on that uh, topic of the feelings collection. And, you know, I think it was uh, Stress Less and Live More or something yes. was the name of the title mm -hmm. in yes. the number 40s, somewhere in there. But um, we'll link that as well. So. Well, that's awesome. Any last notes before uh, we uh, are so grateful that we're going to be done with this program? <laughs> well, um, I just want to reiterate, be your best friend to yourself. Mm. Um, continue to focus on being your best friend and supporting yourself mm -hmm. with encouraging thoughts, forgiveness of self, um, speaking good words yes. to yourself. Tell yourself that you're grateful for you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you did what if, such a good job. What if you weren't here? That's right. What would yourself do? I don't mm, know. You know, be looking for me. Yeah. Probably. So, be kind to yourself. Yes. Awesome. Well, hey, this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by WaterDistillers.com. We're grateful for them for supporting the show, and you can get great machines that produce great water for drinking and cooking. And it's just going to help your wellness in a great way. So uh, check it out at waterdistillers.com. I am grateful that this episode turned out so well. But part of it is that still this gratitude oil is so good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's awesome. And we thank you, too, for <laughs> staying here to the end of the program. And we'll uh, see you next time on Hunt for Wellness. 